welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about some new information that has been released about Raya and the Last Dragon, including a change of voice actress, new characters, and a new promotional image. Now if you want to get some general background information about the film, check out my previous video which I've linked up here. But for everyone else, let's get into it. Firstly, Kelly Marie Tran has replaced Cassie Steele as the voice of Raya. She is best known for playing Rose Tico in the Star Wars franchise and will be featured as part of the voice cast in the upcoming Disney Plus series, Monsters at Work. She is a Vietnamese American, which is perfect for this film as it is set in Southeast Asia. The crew of the movie seem to absolutely love her, praising her ad-lib and comedic skills, as well as her ability to give an emotional and dramatic performance. They apparently reblocked an entire scene and changed the animation because of an improvisation she did in the booth. And if you know anything about the time and effort that goes into animation, that is a really big deal. Although I am sure that Kelly Marie Tran will be amazing, I can't help but feel sorry for Cassie Steele. As an actor myself, I know how painful rejection can be and thinking you were going to be a Disney princess and having that taken away must hurt so much and my heart goes out to her. Secondly, it has been officially confirmed that Raya will be a Disney princess. Yes! However, the film will flip the narrative on what it means to be a princess. Tran stated that, Raya is totally a warrior. When she was a kid, she was excited to get her first sword, and she grows up to be a really badass, gritty warrior, and can really take care of herself. Thirdly, Disney has released a new promotional image for the film, which I love. In this image, we get our first CG look at Tuk Tuk, who is Raya's trusty steed. The director Don Hall described this character as a fuzzy bear meets an insect version of an armadillo. He looks super cute, and I know I will be purchasing him. This movie's gonna cost me so much money. This image is our first look at Raya's full sword, and I really love the jagged design. Additionally, this image shows a CG version of Raya's cape, which was previously seen in early concept art. The most striking and mysterious part of this image is the temple in the distance. This temple is on a mountain, which unusually has a hole in the middle of it, where the sun is shining through. I presume this is the same temple that was featured in the leaked image of the film, and I still maintain that I think it is the temple of the last dragon. Fourthly, the villain of this movie has been revealed. The EW article says, as an evil force threatens the fictional kingdom of Kamandra, the two must leave their heartland's home and track down the last dragon to help stop the villainous drun. I hope that is the way it is pronounced. I have no idea. I'm probably wrong. Finally, it has been revealed that Raya and the Last Dragon will have not one, not two, but three female protagonists. This is so great. It was initially announced that Raya and Sisu the Dragon, played by Aquafina, were going to be co-female leads. However, Disney revealed today that there is a third female leading character that we will have to wait to discover. This means that the character is most likely a giant spoiler and we won't find out who she is until the movie premieres. Well, that's it for today, everyone. Raya and the Last Dragon is going to be released on March 21st next year, and I couldn't be more excited. Just a reminder, right now I'm doing a giveaway of a full set of 36 Disney Plus Ushies, so check out this video up here for details on how to enter. Bye now, have a magical day.